Hey guys, welcome to the program. Go, oh, wow, man. It's Friday and I'm all really on my bull today because uh, we're going to look, we're going to start with one of our classic morons. One of the classic guys that we look at and we, where is it? We do do like this. <laughs> it's a Chuck check. It's a Chuck check. We're going to do a Chuck check, check on Chuck. He's this uh, weird internet lunatic who we make fun of for content. And, uh, you know, I watch a lot of these right-wing YouTube videos, right-wing content creators, and I've been noticing a pattern. Then all of a sudden, people don't realize, what is a Western value? <laughs> well, the Great Reset wants to get rid of Western values. So let me give you an idea of what a Western value is. The innocence of children must be protected. Hey. That's the a Western muscular value. Class. The muscular class. That's not a value that they have in a lot of African countries. <laughs> where Christian and Jewish morality, those together believes that the protection of children is paramount. Jesus said it very clearly. He said, let the little children come to me. That anyone- <laughs> I liked at the end there, he's like, and Jesus said, let the children come to me. I thought of like a Ricky Gervais joke. I know he watches. Ricky, Ricky. I know if you watch, here's a joke that you can take from that. Let the children come to me, Jesus said. Sounds like a bit of a pedo. <laughs> yeah, so they've been kind of doing a lot of- Perhaps more recent in our memory is the long fought and won passage of gay marriage in 2015. Two points that liberals made during that debate as it raged on over the years. Point number one, Hi. us being gay doesn't mean we're going to make your kids homosexual. We're not pedophiles. Do I lie and not talk about my marriage? Do I pretend I'm single? Do I invalidate my spouse's stance as a trans femme person? The answer is yes to all of those things. What we just examined is a mentally unstable adult predator who has access to children. <laughs> adult predator who has access to children. <laughs> because parents allow me to make this part perfectly clear to you. What will follow this? The intentional and overt confusion and sexualization of our children in the classroom is obvious. Pedophilia is around the corner. Disgusting and probably illegal. Dis 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 disgusting and probably illegal. God damn. Candy really leaning in like a real girl boss. I mean, we're talking, we're talking smooth criminal. We're talking smooth criminal here. Yogurt yes. <laughs> I'm looking for custard. <laughs> I'd love a spin-off frosty with fries. <laughs> You ever dip your fries in Frosties? No, I know they're trying to sell us on that. It's disgusting. Mm -hmm. Says you. <laughs> and, and the backlash against Disney is backlash against, and YouTube is saying this is a conspiracy, right. but it's actually against uh, left-wing grooming. Grooming of children. Uh, left-wing grooming. Grooming of children. This is not a joke, what I'm about to say. So this guy, he's just like, these left leftist groomers. If you had to take a wild guess... Guess who the uh, guest is today on his show? We have Matt Gates on the show today. Boom. Don't say Gates. <laughs> Gates. I'm not in. <laughs> disgusting and probably illegal. Dis 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 disgusting and probably illegal. Weird. Weird. <laughs> okay, okay, buddy. Now, of course, all these channels are wacky. It's a bunch of lunatics. It's a bunch of people doing this. Because a lot of people, you know, in, in the United States are losing it. They're losing it, you know, not their fault. So they're watching this stuff. And I would say, clip this, clip this and send this to all the people who watch these channels. Many of them Mimas and Peepaws who got an ad and now they're like, oh, this is my source of news now. But to the rest, uh, guys, get some fresh air. Let's, you know, open the, open the drapes. Uh, oh, 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 go outside. <sighs> Fresh air. You know what I mean? <laughs> so why are they ratcheting up the crazy talk here? Calling everybody a pedophile. Oh, this guy's a pedophile. That's uh, all this. By the way, we have a real <laughs> actual pedophile. Why are these people acting crazier than normal? Well, my theory is that there's one thing that's going on now, which is not looking good for the people who uh, produce these kind of shows, Crowder. Ben Shapiro, 
all these people who despise normal working people. One thing that's going on is there's some uh, normal people, normal working people victories have happened. Am the recent Amazon union crap, Starbucks. Marking a historic victory for organized labor. Are you aware? It's not unsimilar to when someone has to do one of these. When someone has to do that, and they're in public, so they'll go like that. They'll go. <coughs> That's what it feels like to me. Let's ratchet up the culture war crazy stuff to like a 12 to kind of, because none of them are talking about this. You know, they all, oh, the elites. We're sick of these elites. Charlie Kirk, Tucker Carlson, all the, oh, these elites. They're sick of the elites. Have not heard, especially Tucker Carlson has not really talked about this. The union uh, win or the Starbucks uh, uh, union stuff. I'm kind of quiet on that. Good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. Let's say you were incompetent and you didn't want anyone to know you were. Okay, but uh, back to the subject of this show, which is our one of our favorite characters to look at. One of my favorite YouTubers. Actually, what I think, where I think this guy is listened to mostly is like on the radio. Like this has been a thing for a while, like these weird radio, like Rush Limbaugh and all this crap. That it's like somebody in a truck and they're like, I don't know, I guess I'll listen to this guy. He's, he's doing a lecture. Oh, they do lectures on the radio. I'll check out this guy's lecture. So he's a lecturist on YouTube, but probably mostly on the radio and podcast. The muscular class. The, 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 the muscular class. Chuck Charleston Chu Kirk. You look around, it looks like we're coming upon a day of reckoning here mm. in America. Mm. Food shortages are not being predicted. Some people say they're being planned. Are you aware? It might be happening all across the country. You're nine meals away from anarchy. Things are- <laughs> Nine meals away. Not this guy's a meme machine. Nine meals away from anarchy. So he peddles, he peddles these stupid food buckets on his channel. <laughs> and why do we need to buy these food buckets? These overpriced like macaroni? thrown into a plastic garbage can with a lid on it because we're nine meals away from anarchy. Everyone, please start using that. Oh man, I'm starving. I'm one meal from anarchy right now, bro. Hey, can we stop at the gas station and get a kind bar or some Fig Newtons? I'm one snack from anarchy right now, dude. I'm 30 seconds from Mars right now, bro. And if you do not have a good stockpile of food, go to MyPatriotSupply.com <laughs> and grab what you'll need for difficult times ahead. MyPatriotSupply.com specializes in long-term emergency... Food storage. You all right? Their food Nine meals away from anarchy. Is your family going to be properly fed? <laughs> My Patriots. <laughs> Nine meals away from anarchy. Is your family going to be appropriately fed? Nine meals from anarchy. Nine meals from anarchy in the UK. I am so hungry right now. I am so hungry right now. So Charlie Kirk's an easy guy to make fun of. He does a lunatic show for Mimas and Peepaws. And every time I watch this thing to make fun of, he does he plugs, he pedals this crap, he pedals these food buckets, and I'm just like, okay, this is some dumb, some dumb product where they throw a bunch of candy in a garbage can. But uh, th this time I was like, you know what? I want to look into these food buckets. Maybe I'll, maybe I need some of these food buckets. I am a bit of a food bucket, many people say, you know. I got 30, 40 pounds that, you know, but we're not going to go into that. But uh, I really wanted to look into these food buckets because all of these, you know, uh, weird, you know, conservative channels, they peddle these food buckets. And boy, oh boy, was I not disappointed on this food bucket company. Food supplies have been completely wiped out. <laughs> we have our evacuation of all counties. I report complete devastation. Are you aware? Giant squall. Are, are there aware? are forces in this world that remind us of how fragile we are. We thought we were safe. We thought it could never happen to us. Weird. Then life like a fog descends upon us, blanketing our memories. Through the haze, we travel its hidden paths, lost in its secret places. And when the storm, turbulent and immovable, forces us to shelter, we remember. 
It calls to us. Calls us back. <laughs> calls to us. Back to the ports and the harbors of our past. Oh, damn. We fight the currents that pull and drag us off course. Not a lot. Okay, okay. All right, all right. The whack job food preppers will watch Children of Men before they saw this. All right, okay, I see you. Hey, we may be selling Home Depot buckets where we throw some packages of dried uh, ramen noodles in there, but we're going to have some good filmic influences on this ad for this garbage. And when we arrive, we don't always know it at first. The places we once loved guised by time. Then we see it. The place we've been trying to get back to. Safe at last. It's a people! We've fa found our Tar, way home. Tar, 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 Tar. Hey, are you an old peepaw? You know, your family and your kids. All your kids, they just want to play their Nintendo Switch. They never visit you. They never visit you, right? But, you know, a smoke, a smog monster is one day going to rise over the city and they're going to have no choice but to hang out with you because you got hundreds of rotting food buckets in your basement. Now they have to hang out with me. I'm a peepaw. Who wrote this thing? Who wrote, what's with all that poetry? Who wrote this? Cormac McCarthy? They could, did they hire Cormac? <laughs> did they hire Cormac? <laughs> Cormac. Damn, we used to always make fun of Peepaw. You know, we wanted to play our Nintendos, and we would just make fun of Peepaw. But now we look like the idiots, because he has a basement packed with moldering ramen noodle buckets. Ooh. Here we go. Let's put it. Let's put a noise filter on the. Okay. Anyway. Mm. Oh, man. There's a smoke coming over our town, and Grandpa's got the food buckets. Thank you, Mom. Now we gotta hang out with Grandpa for once in our lives. From what I could find online, from a couple different sources, is that this company is estimated to make 10 million. 10 mil. Remember. Throwing a bunch of uh, throwing a bunch of noodles into a Home Depot garbage uh, bale, basically, ten million dollars a year. Hi, I'm my Patriot Supply. Hi, preparedness is my thing. Our most popular <laughs> kit sold out in just three days. Oh, that's great, but you're a preparedness company. A marketing company. A preparedness company. Shouldn't you have been a little better prepared? <laughs> one day, my friend. One day. One day what? Soon you'll learn that one of the best tactics in marketing is scarcity. Maybe there's some fetus viewers out there. You doing that? That just happened for you? Good. Congratulations. There was an ad in what, like the, the early 2000s? Very early? I don't know, somewhere in the 2000s. Where it's this guy, John Hodgman, and this other guy who might be dead right now. Some kid who was in like with three movies. Where they came out and one was like, I'm an Apple computer. And then the other guy said, I'm a PC computer and I'm a f nerd. I'm a goddamn dork. I'm a piece of f Oh, and a pedophile. I think they said that in those ads. The Apple computer guy came out and he was like, uh, he's like, hey, I'm a cool kid. I go to college and I did a kickflip on my way here. Then the PC comes out and he goes, I sh my pants just now. So... This is an attempt, and this is, was uploaded two months ago, to just, just, <laughs> just, I would say on it with no shame, definitely, just rip off those ads. But they add a different, interesting, add an interesting angle to it where there's, you know, a blonde, blue-eyed, strong guy, and then uh, that guy. And that guy's the, the, you know, he's the one you're supposed to be like, boo! That's, you know, they, they put a, they put a, an angle on it that you would expect from, hi, I'm Apple Computers with my cool little long haircut. I'm PC, I just killed my whole family. You know what this does do, though, is makes clear how goddamn stupid those ads were, those Apple ads. 
Like, the, all they did was they just, like, let's turn up the kind of, like, racism on the crap. Let's just make it the kind of stupidity that these morons who are losing their mind out in the middle of nowhere in America, the kind of crap they like. Oh, there's a blonde, blue, blue-eyed, strong guy. Who openly advertises how many times you haven't been prepared. It's the very definition of irony. When you're as popular as we are, you sell out. Don't worry, one day you'll sell. God bless these actors, man. The job's a job. A job's a job. And a horrible job is, a, is technically a job. Hey, we're a weird food bucket scam company. Then we partner with a bunch of YouTube Nazis to peddle our crap. But an acting job is an acting job. Hi, I'm My Patriot Supply. Hi. We're passionate about real preparedness, and we've been doing it for a long time. Perverts. <laughs> what you got there, buddy? Buy our food kit today and get free extra servings. An additional 600 calories. Hell yeah, bro. Hey, what does that bring you to? What is going on with, like, the middle America? What's going on with the, you with you people out there? What's going on with you guys out there? Why do they want this? It's like an apple. They want apple crap. What? I mean, it's my Patriot supplies or whatever this stupid crap is called. Why don't they just have, uh, hey, I'm John Rambo. I just took a dump in my pants and I live in the woods. Da -da 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 -da. It's like they can't even get to what's good about their demented stupid crap. Like... At least Rambo was like a cool action movie, and they're like, no, we want it to be like Apple. Okay. So you guys are a bunch of right-wing kooks and your dorks. Great. Also, when I'm not shooting bad guys and waxing up my body, bro, I eat food out of a bucket. That costs more than if you just bought it and put it in a bucket. So I was contacted by my Patriot Supply Hi. to see if I wanted to check out one of their buckets. So... Needless to say, I wasn't super impressed with what was in the box for the value. This box to me felt very carbohydrate heavy, and not only that, but the cheap carbohydrates like rice and oatmeal and pancake mix. So guys, look, I'm worried just as much about the smog, you know, overtaking the crap as you are, okay? But just go, go get some macaroni and cheese, string cheese. You know, your Nintendo Switch, put in your backpack, put in your Hello Kitty backpack, and run away from home. So there we go, guys. Happy Friday. If you're watching this on Friday, uh, join the live stream. This is what you'll do on the live stream. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye-bye. Mm, hey, guys. You're only getting a fraction of the weekly shows. If you want a new mother episode every day, subscribe on Patreon for as little as two bones. You get the patron-only Tuesday and Thursday shows, the book -a -blega show where we look at important books, and the goddamn weekly behind-the-scenes show. And for only 25 bones, you could become a producer and get your name up here. Look at these people. These people make this show possible. If it, wa if it wasn't for them, nothing. We don't have a show. We got nothing, and it's, go and it's garbage. garbage. And we have to just leave we have to just basically walk away and we don't even really know where we're walking that's 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 the truly troubling part about all this but please become a patron today for as little as two bones or if you or five bones is another level or ten or you go the full 25 and you get up here big special thanks to these people love you guys love you guys so much